Have you been thinking about adding alterations to your sewing as an extra service or into a business? Because alterations could absolutely be a sustainable business for you. You just got to put your mind to it and decide maybe what kind of niche you'd like to go into, into the direction of alterations. Hi, my name is Tanya Sutherland and I am a fashion business startup coach as well as a designer, designing a collection of patterns and abundance of courses and enhancement courses to help you to improve your skills of sewing, designing, as well as to start your own business. If this is the kind of content that you enjoy, then just press the subscribe button down below and, and just help me grow my algorithm so I can share more knowledge with you and give you more and more content so I can help you to get your business started and to give you lots of ideas and inspiration. Alterations could be from the absolute basics of altering clothes for, for men and for ladies. You could just offer basic alterations to start off with, just for you to get the confidence of working with clients and understanding their needs, the different types of body shapes, as you are learning to progress with your skills and confidence to take on more advanced type of alterations. Just start off with the basics first, baby steps. Why not just do hemming, shortening of skirts, jackets, trousers, sleeve lengths, etc. And then you can take it a bit further by tapering in, in garments to get a better shape, to fit the person's body proportions, or trousers, start tapering in the trousers. And then you can start looking at taking the waistbands off to maybe alter the trouser or skirt that might be too long in the abdomen to the waist area, or take the waistband off completely and add a lining to it. So these are things you can slowly start to add into advertising that it's not just an alteration business. This is about you wearing the clothes, giving you confidence and looking amazing in the clothes that you buy because the other thing is, as you've progressed into your alterations where you're still giving all the basics, but now you feel that you want to up your game, you could always look at advertising or approaching boutiques and offering to do evening dresses or their suits, how to alter it to fit perfectly for their clients, offering another service. I'm sure the boutique owners would love this kind of opportunity and to basically collaborate with you that you're giving each other a good service and a business. Their clients are going to be smiling and happy, telling their friends about it, it will grow the boutique and of course will grow your business as well. When you feel that you have enough confidence from there, you could always look at doing bridal gowns and approaching all the bridal boutiques and go online or put onto your social media that you do alterations for perhaps um, bridesmaids dresses and then taking it a little bit further and offering services to do wedding gowns. As you know, a lot of people are not just buying wedding gowns from boutiques directly, they are also importing gowns and of course the horror is when the gown arrives here, it doesn't always fit them the way they want it to fit because as you know we have different body proportions and we have different body shapes and different positions of our bust line, our waist, etc. So this is where you could step in and actually learn how to take all the correct measurements and learn how to take in a wedding dress, all the different types of wedding dress. Obviously you would need to grow your skills. So it's about enhancing your knowledge by having a look at other YouTube channels where there are other designers and seamstresses that spend hours and showing and sharing their beautiful skills with you of how to alter the wedding dresses because this is what they are doing and they are growing and sharing their skills with you. So take that time to grow and enhance your skills by just getting much more knowledge around this particular area that you want to go into for alterations. So once you start doing wedding alterations, that'll be your new niche market. You could focus in the niche area of wedding gowns, bridal boutiques, etc. And, you know, bridal types of magazines, pleasure adverts in there, whether these are digital magazines or actual tangible magazines. So this, uh, this is giving you quite a good idea of how you can take basic alterations to something much more advanced in a complete niche market. You could even do men's suits. This is an... Um, 
a, a boutique for men's suits, but you will do the tailoring for them and offer the service as well. And as you are doing the alterations and you're unpicking, taking garments apart, putting together, who knows, you might even get to a level where you can actually start making your own suits to sell or wedding dresses to sell to clients, starting an entire collection, but start off with alterations. I hope this absolutely inspired you to get you going. I have a course, I'll leave the link down below, of all the basic ideas of starting alterations. To it's about 20 videos all put together, plus some marketing skills and some coaching and habits and things that I can inspire you, to guide you, to help you to get started with what you have right now to get started. No more procrastinating and saying, I will do it later on. I still need to learn this. And you put things off. Just start and get there. You've got to have that hunger. Make it happen.